Eric Nixon, head coach at Extreme Couture, has recently helped three fighters so far become UFC champions. Most notably, Deshaun Strickland in one of the sport's biggest ever upsets as he shut down and beat up Israel the Dog Whisperer at a sand. Nixit grew up in Henderson, Nevada, in a family filled with coaches. After a run playing football, Nixit was in search of something to keep him out of trouble, which led him to Extreme Couture. He actually joined before the gym even opened to the public, making him the first official member of Extreme Couture. He then worked his way up the rankings to become head coach. Nixick's first big moment as coach came as second coach to Aljamain when he won the title against Jan at UFC 259. Aljo not only picked up the belt that night, but also landed himself an Oscar. Eric then stayed working with Aljo through the Yarn rematch and the slaughter of the one-armed Roid Bandit. When Nganu joined with Nixick after his loss against Stipe, he made massive gains in his wrestling and striking. Changes that secured Nixick's second title as coach. When Francis won his rematch against Stipe, displaying his improvements, not only in his striking and takedown defense, but also in his patience and approach. Nganu's later title defense against Garn showcased his advancements in wrestling, which surprised everyone including Garn and DC. Look at Nganu, throws the body shot, and then level change to the double, gets the hands locked. I mean, come on, man. We never seen, we've uh, never uh, seen this part of Francis Ngannou. And then the win that probably brought Eric to the attention of a lot of MMA fans was his work with Deshaun Strickland in his recent title fight with Adesanya. There were moments in between rounds where Nick Six coaching really shone. Don't let him snake charm you was a standout term and a beautiful description of Adesanya's tactics. During the rounds, using terms like optics to remind Sean to mix up his looks, and he did a great job calling out setups he saw coming Sean's way. After the fight, even Izzy credited Eric on calling out his setups before he could get them off. If only Eric could have called out Izzy before getting his dog off. It was clear that him and Sean were tuned into each other. It was also funny to hear Eric speaking Strickland to Sean to really hit his message home. Okay, come on. All right, let's go. We got two rounds of this. I don't want to lose some fucking boring ass decision here. Hey, we didn't come all this way to lose a fucking yes. point fest. Get on this motherfucker and let's go. Tight. Hey, tight. let's fucking go. Yes, hey, tight. listen, listen to me. When he drops back or gets lateral on the cage, hit him to the chest on, first. Man. Hit him to the chest first and then reload that motherfucker. Hey, we can beat this cocksucker. You gotta go, motherfucker. In interviews after these wins, there's been zero gloating or rubbing in people's faces from Eric. Just pouring respect and praise on his opponent's team. A class act and sheer happiness for his fighters. And while it's not MMA, it's also pretty incredible that in his first ever boxing match, Francis Ngannou, if we're honest, beat the apparent best heavyweight boxer in the world, Tyson Fury who people were starting to talk about as an all-time great. Fury got dropped worse than Ian Gary from an MMA gym. With Eric in his corner, granted not as head coach, Francis made boxing look pretty stupid, especially when you consider that in an MMA fight, it would be unlikely to see even the very best boxer get out of the first round against any ranked MMA fighter of the same weight class. It seems that a major part of Nixick's coaching isn't just the well-tailored game plans for each opponent, or the excellent understanding of the finer nuances of MMA, but he becomes as close as family to his fighters, building deep bonds that go beyond MMA. This can be shown in a number of Eric's interviews. This has been one of my my crowning achievements, I think, not as a coach, but as a human being, is, um, you know, we, we, we've given this guy a, a home, you know? Um, he, he, he comes from a, a, a rough upbringing, you know, it's 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 tough to hear those stories, and it, it's hard for me to make excuses for some of the things that he says and some of the ways that he acts. But if you really understand him the way that we do, you guys would fight just as hard as we do for him. He's our guy. I wanted to make him feel like he belonged to something bigger. He always talked about being this outlier, this lone wolf, this guy that didn't have a place to belong. And then at Extreme Couture, I felt like. I can give him self accusation by giving him responsibilities, by giving him a leadership role, by telling him that we care, that we love him, you know? And it's it's little bits, bro. It's not like hugs every day, but just little bits. It seems like the best is yet to come from Eric and his team. He's a breath of fresh air for the sport, and it's gonna be a joy to watch him and his fighters reach their full potential. Anyway, if you like this video, check out this playlist of recent bangers, and I'll see you next time.